Hello, everybody. My name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web quick news update today, and that's mainly going to be Phil Vischer's pro-abortion Twitter meltdown that is in its fourth day, at least, uh, in this current spat that he's had with William Wolf and others on social media, mainly Twitter. And we're going to be taking a look at this meltdown that he has. Don't forget to like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel. And this is kind of the climax of this event. Everything else is just fallout from Phil Vischer coming out as pro-abortion. And it it largely stems from the fact that Phil Vischer thinks that abortion is a complicated issue according to scripture. It's not. It's pretty simple. William Wolf again, just points out Exodus 2013, you shall not murder. Pretty cut and dry case that abortion is murdered because it is uh, with the hatred of the child. Um, and then he just tries to nuance this, like what is murder? And at the end of the day, uh, abortion is just, is an obvious evil, just as war is an obvious evil are either ever justified, which is a pretty odd question to ask. Christians come to different conclusions. I'm a, I assume you know enough of Christian history to be aware of this. And obviously, William Wolf just cuts through this nonsense. And this is on October 2nd. Uh, which abortions are justified, Phil? And there's a long time waiting on this. And when it is when it will save the life of a mother is an easy one for most Christians to agree on. However, again... If you are an expert on the issue of abortion, when does it ever save the life of a mother? Because an abortion is an attempt to kill the baby, not to save the mother's life. That's a clear distinction that needs to be made. So, you know, if you have cancer and you're giving chemotherapy, that saves the mother's life. It could harm the baby, but that is not being done to harm the baby that that's just a your basic example on this type of situation and on this type of logic phil vischer is kind of articulating a subject uh a uh instance a hypothetical that mainly doesn't exist mainly is exaggerated for the purpose of fostering abortions in the united states and then he uses uh cases of rape and incest as other possible exceptions he alludes to these as justifiable examples and again incest is just a fancy word for eugenics and if you're a pure eugenicist incest wouldn't even be the highest on the eugenics priority list but i'm not a eugenicist and rape again has you don't you don't commit evil in response to evil this is a clear biblical paradigm uh, a, a clear biblical theme that's taught you don't repay evil with evil. You don't seek private revenge. And the sins of the father shall not be passed down on the child. You know, you should not be executing the child for the sins of the father. And that's what abortion in the instance of rape really is. We can try to dress it up as something else, but it's nothing other than that and um, eugenics in some cases, of course. Um, and again, William Wolf asks, Phil, do you support legal abortion in cases of pregnancy resulting from rape? And we have a nice deleted tweet here where Phil Vischer basically says yes. And I got a screenshot pulled up on Protestia right here. Um I don't have a specific position, but probably if it's early in the pregnancy. How weak of a position is that? How? That is pro-abortion. That is a pro-abortion position. First of all, you're making a distinction between different stages of, of the pregnancy as it relates to the personhood of the child. That's a very pro-abortion premise. Uh, and then second, you don't have a specific position, yet you fancy yourself this uh, elitist Christian ethicist. You have a podcast called The Unholy Compost on YouTube, and yet you don't have a specific 
position on the most frequently asked question on abortion. And it shouldn't be the most frequently, but it pretty much is because, you know, a lot of people are being indoctrinated with a consent based morality system in the United States. And that's what this type of system teaches is that uh, you can consent is what determines whether life, whether it's a life or not. Uh, whether the mother wants it determines whether it's a life or not. And then he says, you know, this means you're pro-choice. And again, as Christians, we shouldn't use the term pro-choice. It's pro-abortion or pro-baby murder. It's not pro-choice. And Phil Vischer responds, actually, I'm pretty close to most major pro-life orgs. And again, we've discussed on Evangelical Dark Web many times that most pro-life organizations suck. The March for Life is a LARP for life. Uh, the Right to Life, National Right to Life, and their state chapters are not that pro-life. They opposed pro-life legislation in Louisiana, the ERLC. Also, not that pro-life. I might argue it never really was that pro-life. Uh, it, it's always been trying to put the brakes on the pro-life movement. That's what these organizations do. They're grifts. And... I do have another screenshot or not a screenshot. Uh, and here, and this is very recently into his tirade. And he talks about being in line with the national association of evangelicals, which is a highly liberal organization that no Christian can be a part of the Presbyterian church in America recently disassociated from them, which is pretty good news in the church. And, and then he wants to use an appeal to authority or popularity fallacy. Right, but many majority of Christians approve of some exceptions to an abortion ban. And just because majority approve of it doesn't make it so, which seems to be a theme in this ongoing discussion. Um, but again, Phil Vischer is this fancy Christian ethicist, but he can't do basic tying your shoes on biblical ethics and he wants to be a podcaster he wants to be a social media pundit he wants to be a veg a cartoon vegetable folk hero but he can't tie his shoes theologically to save his life nor will it save his life because this guy's an obvious false teacher and it this has been obvious for a very long time he's been weak on vi virtually every hot button issue and it's not because he doesn't know what the bible says it's because he doesn't agree with it so that's all i got to say about that if you like this kind of content subscribe to the evangelical dark web if you are new uh otherwise if you really like this kind of content you can support us over at evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join it is a patreon like system that is linked in the description below have a blessed day i will catch you on the next one which will be a live stream on Thursday, and I will catch you then.